I'm Liz Haas, and today I'm going to show you how to place a photo mask on a piece of glass. The items that you need is a plastic furnisher, a wire wheel roller, and a quality glass cleaner, as well as blasting tape. Now first, I'm going to clean my glass, and you can use a rubbing alcohol, but you want to make sure that you have a quality glass cleaner if you're not using alcohol. And what we're doing is we're removing any oils or any dirt that can be on the surface of your glass. You want to make sure you have a clean surface. Now I have my photo mask, and as you notice, the photo mask is designed to the same size as the glass. So in this case, I don't need to tape off any area. Now I made this mask ahead of time, and I applied cover paper to the back to protect the self-stick side of the photo resist. So what I'm going to do now is remove the cover paper, and this is the self-stick side. I'm going to apply this side to the glass, and I have a flat piece of glass here. You can put this on a curved glass. It's the same process applies if you're applying the photo mask to a curved glass. Now I don't have this lined up quite right, so I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to reposition it. And that's one thing about the SR3000 is that it is repositionable. So you can pick it up and move it around as many times as you need to until you line it up correctly. So now I'm going to take my burnisher and I'm going to squeegee the photo mask to the glass. But first, I want to make sure that the edge of my burnisher is smooth. And if it's a little rough on, on your burnisher, then you can resurface that by getting another burnisher, rubbing the two together, and then you can have a resurfaced edge. So now I'm going to use downward pressure to squeegee the mask to the glass. And you want to make sure that it's secure. So you have to use pressure. So now, if you notice, there is a shiny side of the photoresist. We call that a clear carrier. That needs to be removed before I can sandblast. And the way that you separate that carrier from the photo mask is I use my burnisher, and I'm going to flick up the, air, the corner here, and I've already started. You can apply it down, squeegee, and then just flick the corner, and remove that carrier. It comes off very easily. And now I have my photo mask, but I have one more step before I start sandblasting, and that's using the wire wheel roller. Now this is a brass brush, and what this is going to do is this is going to perforate the membrane in my photo mask and it's going to release any trapped air that's between the photo mask and the glass. If you want to use some pressure, just roll over your photo mask, and it's just perforating that membrane, releasing any trapped air. And this brush is not going to hurt the photo mask. And now you're ready to sandblast.